My name is Snobi and I'm an engineer by profession. In the Bible, chapter Isaiah chapter 53, it talks about a suffering servant, a servant who is suffering, who is oppressed, bruised, and who dies, who gives his life for sin of the people, of mankind. Could you please clarify, who is the servant of God? Thank you. The brother has quoted a verse from the book of Isaiah saying that the messenger is going to come, who is going to die for the suffering, etc., for the others. And there are many Christians who try and assume that this is the prophecy of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I'm just telling you, assume. Now, brother, you should note that the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 18, verse number 20, it says, the soul that sin it shall die, which people normally quote, the soul that sin it shall die. But the missionary, they put a full stop where there's no full stop. The complete verse is, the soul that sin it shall die. The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But if the wicked turns and comes to the straight path, he shall not die. One thing, that sin cannot be inherited. So the concept of the church, of the original sin, the original sin, what the church says, that Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, they ate the forbidden fruit, and that's the reason humankind is born in sin. That's the reason Almighty God sent His beloved Son, begotten Son, Jesus Christ, peace be upon Him, quoting Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse number 16, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, whosoever believeth in Him shall not die but have everlasting life. I'm just trying to put a nutshell. This is what you all believe. Now, coming to the question of the original sin. The concept of original sin is nowhere to be found in the Bible. It is the teaching of the church. According to the Ezekiel chapter 18, verse number 20, it says, The soul that sin shall die. The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son. Neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. The wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. But if the wicked turns and comes to the straight path, he shall not die. So based on this Ezekiel chapter 18, verse number 20, it completely negates the original sin that is propagated by the church. The Quran too says, no bearer of burden can bear the burdens of the others. No bearer of burden. So surely sin is not inherited. Eve tempted Adam to eat the forbidden fruit. Adam ate the forbidden fruit. May peace be upon them. Did Adam, peace be upon him, ask me before eating the fruit? Did he ask me? No. So why should I be responsible? If he had asked me and if I told him yes, then you can catch my collar. Now Adam didn't ask me before eating the forbidden food, peace be upon him. So why should I be held responsible? How can God be so unjust? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse number 40, Almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never unjust in the least degree. So sin is not inherited. So your concept of saying that this refers to Jesus Christ is totally wrong. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, that is the concept of teaching of the church, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. See, son, if you analyze in the Bible, Almighty God has got sons by the tons. It says Abraham was the son of God, Ephraim was son of God, Isaiah was son of God. As many people that are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. So Bible has got sons by the tons. But the Christians say that, no, no, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, not normal son, he's the begotten son. Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Now here if you analyze this word begotten son, according to the scholars of Christianity, if you refer to the Revised Standard Version, revised by Thaidu Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, these Christian scholars say that this word begotten is interpolation, is a fabrication, is a concoction, and they threw it out of the Bible. So if you read the Revised Standard Version, this word begotten is not there. So we verily believe if son means a righteous person, then Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, surely was the son of God. He was a righteous person, but he was not the begotten son. And this concept of inheriting sin is nowhere to be found in the Bible. It's the teaching of the church. In fact, Bible negates this concept. So surely what you're trying to indicate to me that this prophecy of Isaiah, it doesn't, yes, messengers have come. Most of the messengers, they suffered. Whether it be Moses, peace be upon him. Whether it be Jesus, peace be upon him. Whether it be Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa peace be upon him. All the messengers, they suffered. And the hadith of the Prophet, that the maximum that were put to test among the human beings are the messengers of Allah. More difficult the test, the higher will be the reward. So all the messengers of God suffered. But to say 
that they suffered and they had the sin of all the humankind is nowhere to be found in the Bible. It is the teaching of the church and it's against the Bible as well as the Quran. Hope that answers the question, brother.